There he goes. Take that, Mr. Mayor. Slug! Welcome back to WWE 2K22 My Rise. It is now finally time for some Monday Night Slug. Welcome. And let's get it on in a tag team match following the Messiah Seth freaking Rollins. A dangerous and destructive addition. Why the Giant the NXT is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 428 pounds. Sub-Zero, Slugger, and Murphy. He wasn't an athlete per se, but after he endured and the Murphy. rigors of trying to bring... Yay, like, bro, bro. Always the same generic tag entrance. The and now, age of Alexander continues. And your opponents first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Guys, Cedric Alexander had one of the best matches in the Cruiserweight Classic a couple of years ago, and it was so good. Triple H came out and applauded the man and then signed him to a WWE contract. And we all know what's happening to anybody that Triple H got behind in those days. I'm just saying. Cedric's a true testament to hard work and chasing your dreams and never saying die. Cedric has a bright future here in WWE. Does he though? Does he really? Also, it's time for some pew pew ricochet. One and only. Now is it going to have the cool lights here or what? Those little, like, circular deals and whatnot. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. The human highlight reel. It's Ricochet. And his partner from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Again, I say to you, pew pew. Ricochet set for action. Just amazing to watch if the match is even been started yet. Oh, Ricochet better be careful not to tire himself out before the bell rings. We are about to see what Ricochet does best, and that is wow, the WWE Universe. I thought you were going to say lose in spectacular fashion. Oh, stop it, Corey. My first official match on Monday Night Raw. Let's bring the house down. Pinfall or submission. And the first move I make, I miss that move. Look, man. Nerves. Nerves. Sami Zayn managed to injure himself uh, on his very first entrance there on, on Raw. Just in his entrance, hurt himself. So, you know, there's that, Ricochet. Don't worry. Don't you worry. We got some business to attend to. Hopefully, Ricochet is not like Mansoor. I'll be having to fight him 40 freaking times over the course of my Raw career. Hopefully. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. What I am doing is just totally flooring his brains and making them all scrambly. And let me tag in uh, Murphy, a.k.a. Mr. Buddy Matthews these days. But definitely Buddy, Buddy, Buddy nonetheless. Spine on the pine goes Ricochet. And what kind of moves we got here from Murph? We're going to find out. We're going to learn today. Brain Buster float over. Picture perfect, but only a one count at this current juncture in this matchup. What do we got, Murph? What's in your arsenal? I'd like to know. What are you doing? What was that? Wait, what? Did he reverse it? Standing shooting star press. Okay, that's just... I don't like that at all. What happened there? What even happened there? I don't know. Spin it around and backstab him. Sasha Banks style. We're doing it today in this tag team endeavor. We've got a handful of new moves, but also just knees to faces for days. For days and days. I got so many of them. Oh, there it is. Cactus Driver on your neck. And again, we need 
positive tag team maneuvers here and make sure that everybody knows just how good we are as a unit, myself and Mr. Murphy. So that was not the plan. It was not the plan. It really was not the plan. Uh, so yeah, short sure. tag in, fine. Nice cold tag there, but whatever. Here comes a Murphy. Hurricane. And then let's head to the ropes here and see if we can't get to something on the no. Or or not. Or not. Fine. I want to do a slug. What are you doing? Get on the ropes. Get on the tag ropes, Mr. Slug. I'd appreciate it. Blue Thunderbomb. You aren't Sami Zayn. Relax yourself. I wanted does does Murphy have a springboard maneuver? Yes he does. Yes he does. I was I was just curious. I know I have plenty of them, but I was just curious. So Murph rolls through the strength, the power. I thought it held down there, but okay. But okay. It's fine. We're not worried about it. Grab combo. Arm drag. Arm drag combo. And then hitting that finish in the corner. Now, I didn't do that. Okay, sure. That didn't work at all. That was totally a botch. Um, okay, that was uh, me hitting the wrong button. Because that, that, that'll that happen. That'll happen. Nice! I thought he was going to do it on top of him, but okay. What is even happening? Two. No hot tag for you, Ricochet. Not happening. So I see some advice online saying, hey, what you should do, what you should do is when you go for a pinfall with yourself, change to your partner and have your partner do it and get it. make sure it doesn't get broken up because, because, nice, that makes things easier for uh, you, but I haven't quite gotten the hang of how to do that. It is perhaps too many buttons at, at, at this point for my tiny little brain. So, double team from Murph, and then, and then a finish from Murphy, and then Slug, get in the ring, get in the ring, get, go, go, go! Sure, that worked, and there we go. For the greater good. <laughs> High five. Now granted, when you debut a new guy with an established guy and a tag team in their first match, usually the new guy gets the pin in that first match. But, you know, these things happen. Testing my loyalty. Well, what do you mean? So, Ricochet was injured, and now Cedric has no backup. We only need teams with Ali and Theory. A three-on-one match. Are you comfortable with that? So, sure. For the greater good. Let's go. So, is it all three in the same entrance here again? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. And then we get one man, which is Cedric. Three on one. Is it in a tag scenario? It is. Okay. So, it is tag team three on one on your boy Cedric. And that's not going to go well. It's not going to go well, Cedric. Honestly, I don't even need their help. Come on. We're on normal. Run normal. Like, what help do I need to win a match against Cedric? I think I'll be okay. I think I'll manage here. Springboard! I whiff that one. Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Look, don't make fun of me on the whiff. These things happen. Botchamania all day, every day. What are you going to do here? It's a video game. But, Cedric with the Kushida there. Wrenching the arm. And making it weak for whatever. But no. Whiffed it. You whiffed it, Seti boy. You whiffed it. Guess what? Fisherman's? No, I'm sorry. One of those. One of those. So, see, he just gets up right away. It's really hard to actually get a move like that to work because they just get up right away. And granted, it is still early on the match. Like, that makes sense logistically. But it's still, like, I want to do some high-flying moves. I'm the high-flying... I'm the high-flyer from Hollywood, right? So, it's my gimmick. Let me do my gimmick, Cedric. I'd appreciate that. Right? Into the corner. What do we got? Oh, calling for it. Bulldog. All the way across. Now, can I do one of these? No, I cannot. No, you may not, says Cedric. That's not going to happen. On the small of the back, my poor kidneys, they're already so bad. They're already so bad. 
but is what it is. I don't need Ollie. I don't need Austin Theory. All I need are my two hands and take down Fisherman's Buster. Bridging pin. One, two, a two count. We're at two bars here. Two bars. Cedric gonna be seeing stars. That is the plan. So what do we got with my down and X? Rolls through. Kick in the face. Pick him up. What is on right and X? Kick in the gut. Pick him up. Fisherman's uh, Busta. Love that bridging pin, man. Just excellent, excellent, excellent. But not enough. Not nearly enough to put away Mr. Alexander here. So let's try down and square. What do we got? On the shoulders of greatness. Oh, nice. Okay. I want to do this and hit it for once. And then I want to do this. 6.30. I've already injured Ricochet and now I'm still in his moves. But now Cedric, look, it's the danger zone. Oh man, really? 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 Nah. Okay, I have finished though. So, whatever you think you thought we're gonna do. Okay, sure, that was not your SIG. Going to the top, gonna fly. From halfway across the ring, I got the knees up. And that will be the end of Cedric. So, go entertain elsewhere. We're done here. I did it solo dolo, didn't even need the help. And there we go. Forever, he says. You'll be hearing from the Messiah. Will I? Well. So, an honorary disciple. I'm glad you replaced my work. This could lead to bigger things in the future. Just keep making the right decisions. Ha <laughs> ha. Story complete. So, okay. That's fine, I guess. We finished that. Am I still a disciple or... How does that work? What are my stories here on Raw? We've got a couple more here I found that are here, like Tasia and Mayor Kane, but also ones that are still kind of just a mystery on Raw. Also one that is not either face or heel called Stripey. So, okay. Also, 24-7. That 24-7 title. So on Raw, your champions are Seth freaking Rollins and uh, Champa. And over on SmackDown, Roman and Big E, and we defaulted back to Balor and Priest when I abdicated those belts. They were held in abeyance, or whatever. Let's check social media. Champa, the face of Raw, the longest reigning US champion in history. Goldie walked so Shripey could run. But, 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 Mayor Kane. I've already beaten up Hogan, and now I'll beat up Kane. Both of which have some terrible, terrible opinions. Anyhow, you should honor an icon. Me. Threaten Kane. Threaten Kane. Pretty bold talk from a mayor in a cheap suit. I'll be sure to say hi when I see you on Raw. Mayor Kane. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Boom. Did they not get... Can you do any voice work here? I'm fighting just regular Kane. Just regular Kane, like not even like in his gear. He's just here doing his mayorly duties, which is really funny when you think about it. Like I'm attacking an elected official here backstage at Raw. Wrestling is weird, man. Wrestling is weird. Fa a terrible famous sir. Terrible famous. I'm here in my sh freaking street clothes and Kane thinks that he's going to take care of your boy. Yeah, I don't think so. Really, Kane, come on. Get over here near the table, Mr. Mayor. It'll do you some good. It'll help your constituents appreciate how dumb you are. Here we go. Mayor Kane, gonna get that German suplex through the table. That's what you deserve, man. That's it. So far, it has been all a tax slug in this endeavor. 
So, what else could you expect here from the hottest rising new star on Monday Night Raw? Boom. It's me. It's me. That S-L-U-G. Now, Kane, why don't you join me? Join me up in the rafters, buddy. Why is the mayor risking life and limb in this environment? I couldn't tell you. But let me taunt him just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit and enrage the big red machine. The devil's favorite demon. Deal with the knee. Deal with the knee. And then, I'm not sure if these ones can fall, but we're going to try. Anyway. So it's usually you hit him twice on the hammer throw type. Yep. And then, you walk him over and things go south for Mr. Mayor. So, nope, do it again. I think it's twice. You get it, and then it'll go. There he goes. Take that, Mr. Mayor. Slug with the biggest splash in WWE history. And yet somehow, this monster of a man is still kicking, but not for much longer. Because we're going to have some finishers. Oops, Kane fighting back, finally. Some signatures, some finishers, some downward spirals, and Kane can enjoy his retirement from his in-ring career. Rainmaker! And hit my backstage finisher, which is, I think, just, yeah, drift away, and we're done here. Seeing rumors that Slug got into it with Kane backstage before Raw. Can anyone confirm? Look, Mark, get out of here. Seriously. There's more of that beatdown left for Montez Ford later tonight. And if I had to make a prediction, one of our favorites. I foresee Pyro happening and Kane in the mask interrupting. But... The wait, why is there a lowercase c there? What happened? To, what? Okay, one half of the Street Profits. What do we got? Hmm? One half of the Street Profits! Stir it up, Michael! Stir it up! And his opponent, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford! Back right there, they here. call that the Graves. Call that something you wish you could do. Come on, Montez, show them how it's done. And they call that the Gravy. Oh. Where's the Don't be jealous, cups. Byron. Don't be a hater. Sure. Pump it up. Pump it all the way up. Meanwhile, we're on a high going pair. I'm just like, nope. Get out of the camera shot. All right. Fair enough. Here we go. And do I indeed want the smoke here with Montez Ford? It's going to be a battle of who can fly higher in this particular matchup. Pop, pop. Who can fly the highest in this endeavor? It's going to be interesting to find out. Because I have a new top rope deal that I haven't even used yet. It's going to be a surprise to all of y'all pretty soon here. Pretty soon, as I run rough shot, I actually get put back back on, on on hard here, so that'd be helpful. That'd be helpful. But in the meantime, downward spiral and slug. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do there, but hey. Double rotation, moon salt. That's the one, Cole. That's the one. High risk, high reward on that. Spin you around and put you down. Arabian. Nope. Not gonna happen for me. And a DDT for my troubles. Look, man. Look, man. I'm new here on Raw. Alright? So relax. We'll handle this business like men. Tiger. I'm sorry. Dragon Suplex. And I'm almost there, Mr. Ford. I'm almost where I need to be. So you just relax yourself 
get that downward spiral, pick you up, hit me, one of them uh, salt shakers, a two point, whoa yeah, and honestly, that might be enough. That might, the referee out of position there, come on now. Okay, that, I blame that official on that. Just poor officiating, being in the wrong place at the wrong time when I was trying to make it a win. Victoriously. That's it. And a sign in the crowd says Hellfire and Brimstone, so you know that's gonna be Kane. That's gotta be Kane. Hold on. There it is. If this guy's day can't get any more interesting, I might have an idea what this is all about. Yeah, after what we heard happen backstage. It's Kane! And not Mayor Kane, it's the big red machine. The demon has been awakened. That's so slam. Gotta be Kane. He's been put on notice. Thanks. There are some things best left undisturbed. The demon has been awakened. Like, I've already beaten one demon on NXT, so relax. Leave these spooky enemy threats to your goth big brother. So I ain't afraid. And Mandy Rose wants to book the match, so hashtag mandate. That's terrible. That's terrible. Anyhow, that'll be tomorrow. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll put on a hard. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.